Hello Aries, welcome to your daily love read. I'm going to go ahead and get this started for you. First card out is this could be the one. Any other messages here for Aries? For love and romance or relationships. Release your ex past life relationship and make the effort in healing family issues. Those are a lot. So this could be the one. I'm going to just leave that one up there. So let's see what the cards are saying for you guys in love and relationships. Aries, friends, what do we have here for Aries? Ten of Wands, heavy burden with a ten. Okay, a lot of happiness here. Ten of Cups a lot of responsibility but there's a lot of love oh my goodness we have a ten of coin recent past we have the magician manifestation could be manipulation or magical um, having a lot of ideas making things happen Crowning your energy is a nine of water, a wish coming true, a wish that's fulfilled. Emotional wish fulfillment. The Knight of Cups. Your energy is two of swords. You have a choice. Okay, in your environment, we have a two of water. We have a loving partnership. We have an exchange of emotions, a bond. Your fear is that you will be very worried or nervous or there's a lot of, for some reason, self-doubt, but we get the chariot. We get a victory by moving forward. To me, too, the chariot's not giving up. Like, you're just, you're not giving up. You're charging ahead. Bottom of the, of the deck, fire sign energy, knight of wands, queen of air. You could be kind of blocking someone, um, some resistance. But it is a wish fulfillment for you. The nine of cups, the knight of cups, there's a two of cups coming into your environment. Your fear is self-doubt. Maybe you feel you won't be good enough or something like that. Okay. So, why is Aries in a Two of Swords? Page of Swords. Something about a watcher, somebody who observes. immature maybe you just need to sort of like some something about being um having an immature mind i don't know page of swords okay so what is this page of swords representing gemini libra aquarian energy seven of cups confusion Okay, Emperor, wanting to take back your power. There could be someone around you who is who tests your patience. They could act immature. Devils on the bottom could be a Capricorn. Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads. Um, let's see. So the Chariot, you move ahead very quickly. Unless it's someone coming towards you. Eight of Rods. Could be you... Could be somebody coming towards you very fast. 
Um, your wish is coming true here. What is the Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups. Okay, Hangman. Surrendering. Having an epiphany or an awakening. You've been on pause. The Justice card. Fairness, balance, equal equality. There could be a defensive person around you. Maybe some of you are going through a divorce or separation. It looks like you've been carrying a whole load. Ten of Wands. Okay, Four of Swords. Ace of Cups is on the bottom. What is this, um, let's see, Knight of Cups representing? What is the Knight of Cups representing for Aries? Wow. There's something here about somebody trying to maneuver. Magician. King of Air. You could be blocking them um, because it came out with Three of Swords. But there is, maybe it's an apology. Four of Cups. You're not interested. Ace of Air. There's new information, truth, or clarity. What is this chariot? The Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to reward you or be generous towards you. What is the Two of Cups in the environment? There is a bond. What is the Two of Cups? Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, younger person. Or receiving a message because we have a King of Wands here. There could be a fire sign who still thinks about you, Seven of Pentacles. But there's also a Seven of Wands. So it's like somebody is standing up for themselves, standing their ground, or, or you're blocking them. What is Two of Swords? You're confused about this page of cups. Somebody who comes towards you with a message of love. Now, what is the ace of coin representing? Oh my goodness. The devil. So somebody wants to offer you a connection. They want to connect with you. Could be Capricorn. Page of Pentacles. And the lovers on the bottom. So it could be some kind of relationship. Somebody wants to reach out to you. Ten of Swords and the Chariot. Somebody wants to return to you. I feel. Unless you're moving ahead very quickly with this. Unexpected offer. Ace of Coin and the Strength card. The Wish Fulfillment and the Knight of Cups. Okay. Well, Aries, I'm going to leave it here for you. It's kind of short, but thank you for tuning into your love read and take care.